So this is uh, going to be Roadway Lingo Episode 5. And it's going to be all about vertical geometry. So number one, we have tangent. And um, vertical tangents and horizontal tangents are independent from each other. So um, if I have a horizontal tangent, um, the vertical tangent does not have to be within the same limits as the horizontal tangent. Um, and if you can see here, this is an example of a vertical curve. And the tangent would be here. And the tangent grade, which is the second, second um, point, would be 2%. And this is the back tangent and this is the ahead tangent so this this ahead tangent would be um, minus or this this ahead tangent grade would be minus 4.5 and the minimum grades for um, vertical geometry are usually um, 0 0.35 but if I need to go a little bit shallower than this then I'll go 0 0.3 Minimum, minimum, minimum. You don't want to go anything um, below 0 0.35 or 0 0.3 because you'll start having um, drainage issues um, if if the slope if the slope is too shallow. And the max grade depends on the project location and the type of proposed uh, facility. Um, and this this proposed facility just means what type of new roadway are you going to be putting um, at your project location. So let's go look at a text roadway manual, and we'll see how this um, how we pick our maximum grades. So here is the functional classification, which means the type of roadway, um, the type of facility. Right, we have local collector arterial freeway and then we have um, urban and suburban and then we have rural so there's two different two different um, sections here so if it's a rural uh, project then you come here if it's urban su or or suburban then you come here and you have the type of terrain which is here we have level and rolling so if you have if if you're on like a hilly um, location, project location, then you can go steeper. And here is the uh, design speed in miles per hour. So you can come here and um, once you have this information and the type of terrain and the design speed, then you can select the maximum grade. And here, um, all these values here are the, are the grades, maximum grades. So if we go back to number three, the A value or the A variable is the algebraic difference in grades um, for a vertical curve. So in this instance, we have a um, 6.5 A value or A variable, right? Because the algebraic difference um, is 6.5. Um, so this uh, B point here said, says grade breaks without vertical curves. So you are able to have grade breaks um, without vertical curves, depending, um, and here are the limits depending on the design speed. So if you are um, less than or equal to 45 miles per hour um, design speed, then you're able to have a grade break of 1% or less. And if you, um, and if you have a design speed of greater than forty-five, then you can only, then you can only have zero percent or 05 percent or less for a grade break. So let me just show you what exactly a grade break is, real quick. So, um, where is it? okay? So let's say I have a tangent here. And for some reason, I only need to go, um, my next tangent needs to be shallow. So 
um, relative to this one. So a grade break would be something like this. And this is saying um, if this is 1%, um, then if it's less, if the design speed is less than or equal to 45, then I can have this um, this next tangent 2% without putting a curve and this is positive right um, and but if we were to be um, if our design speed was 45 miles an hour then we could only go to 1.5 percent without having a curve and that's all that the grade break means so the next um, term is the k value this is used to determine the minimum lengths of vert vertical curves and the value gets uh, greater as the design speed increases and here is the um, here is the equation for um, the k value which is the length over the length of the curve over the a variable which is the algebraic difference in grade so um, therefore the length of the minimum um, the minimum length of curve is the k value times the difference in difference in grades here and I can do show you an example real quick so if we have our plan and profile Plan and profile sheet, and we'll come here. And so we have a vertical curve here, and our back tangent is negative 1.25, our forward tangent is 0 0.3, and our vertical curve is 360. So if we use a calculator, and um, the k value formula is length over the algebraic. Um, the algebraic difference in grade so the algebraic difference in grade here is 1.55 and the length is 360 so if we do 360 divided by 1.55 then we see that this is the k value that we get here it's the same so if we go to our last topic it's sight distance and um, there's two kinds of sight distance that we we consider when when designing um, vertically and it's the sight distance for a crest curve which is what we're seeing here and the sight distance for a sag curve which is what we're seeing here so for a crest curve it's um, the sight distance that a driver um, can see an object over the crest because the crest here is blocking the blocking the sight of an object on the other side of the curve. So um, this is the the main sight distance sight uh, distance for a crest curve, and the sight distance that we consider on a sag curve is the the distance um, that that the headlight um, is able to see and I'm gonna in the next um, roadway lingo I'm gonna go over the different types of vertical curves crest and sag so it'll it'll make more sense when um, when I I put those videos out and I guess one last quick thing is just like the horizontal geometry we have the points of curvature points of intersection and points of tangency so they're just vertically um, that's that's the only difference and um, oh and one other thing so the horizontal curves are um, based on a circular curve and the vertical curves are based on a parabola so just keep that in mind, and I'll I'll keep re reiterating that um, just to make sure that you you don't forget that because it's uh, it's a really important um, 
distinction. And that's it for today's video. Thanks.